it's been a few days. I've been wanting to do this video since Valentine's Day, but I don't re even remember what day that was. Obviously it was the 14th. Um, but I've been wanting, yeah, to share for a few days and um, I haven't. Um, between one thing and the other, um, it just happens. I'm not in my home. Um, I'm not in my home county. I am currently in County Clare in um, Kilkee, in an Airbnb in Kilkee. I was on a course all day today and I have another full day tomorrow. Um, if I show you this book, you might know what type of course I'm on. Um, Louise Hay, Heal Your Life. Um, it's a book that I probably came into my possession I would say 16, 17 years ago, I would say maybe, um, when maybe post my first surgery for endometriosis, somebody told me to get it, um, probably got it, didn't mean anything to me, um, don't remember getting it, but no, I've had it for years, um, and occasionally open it and, you know, read an affirmation. I think I had a big resistance to affirmations for a long number of years because I thought you had to believe them to really affirm them. Affirmation. Um, and it stopped me, I suppose, from getting into this work. And then everything I've done, and I've done a lot, and experienced a lot, and felt a lot, and released a lot over these last few years, um, kind of came back to our thoughts are our world. Um, if our thoughts alone can make us sick, how could our thoughts alone make us feel well and be well and have the life we want? Um, and I suppose the work around Joe Dispenza is very much that. Um, our thoughts are our reality, they make up our beliefs, our thinking, coaching, everything. Like it all comes back to that, a lot of the systemic work that I do now. Um, and I see it in in people I work with and the teams I work with that um, there's so much to this now that I am ready to see and dive into um, and also a part of my work is and it's not like standard coaching is I offer I offer people what I'm feeling um, in a sentence and we co-create like a sentence of truth and sometimes when it is got to do with an illness there's a deeper meaning to what's going on um, or a pain or a sensation or an experience in their bodies, um, their holding is something deeper. So um, hence why I've been, I suppose, found myself on this weekend in Clare um, and it's with, it's in Eileen Clare Centre and Eileen Clare is very famous in Clare and the world, um, not just for her work with, with Louise Hay and she's a She's a teacher of teachers of this work. Um, uh, she's most known as like a herbalist and an homeopath and um, just a general amazing woman that I've had the pleasure of meeting a few times through a shared friend. Um, and um, so I, yeah, I was meant to be on this weekend and um, it's been really healing. Many of it I've covered so many of the topics before, but you're coming at it at a new lens and a new angle. We're never done um, being humble and grace in the like I've so much still that I unpack um, on weekends like this. And it's always kind of nice when you're away from your own environment that you're able to um, take it in. So just checked into my Airbnb and I to do some journaling and reading um, maybe some podcasts I have some work to do as well at an early night um, uh, and this evening after the course finished I walked the full length of the beach in my bare feet um, as my way of getting my cold today because I didn't get to swim and it was a bit too wild today to swim on my own and I'm always safety first so um, that was today um, so I knew I'd always said that February was going to be full of you know self-love and I suppose Louise Hay is very much that um, and today we worked on like our own affirmations that came from us the opposite of our shoulds or coulds or things we've been told about ourselves um, and 
just going through the list of all the things I've digested down to the years that on some level I believed, you know, um, what do you know? Um, you think you're smart, um, even, you know, um, even things I've heard recently. <laughs> oh, you're self-employed or so. You're, you're unemployed. I'm like, no, no, self-employed is very different. Oh my God, you know, um, you're gonna be so poor. <laughs> you know the the type of things that I've received um and obviously they've hit a nerve right so working on my belief that um I can have an experience abundance and I'm also self-employed but this idea of healers or creative people you know could end up being poor you know um that's a kind of a systemic lens in Ireland so even looking at that um you know, even I, I know I've spoken on even the podcast the other day around the idea of, you know, being single, uh, something in my system comes up in my family. You're not married yet. Um, and, you know, that was one of my shoulds. I should be married by now. And like, I have to call absolute bullshit on that because I, d I don't want to, you know, be married or many, ma many parts of my life. I didn't want to be married. I want the parts of that that I want that that will serve me, but not necessarily you know anytime soon a, a wedding so it's really um it's funny it's just debunking all the stuff and the shit and the beliefs that are just not true um and nourishing ourselves with better words you know so i am loved i am healthy i can nourish myself i can create my own wealth my own prosperity my own abundance and again um, we just did some experimental things in the workshop today that were really powerful that I'd hope to bring into workshops that I will be creating um, hopefully this year. That would be my aim. Um, so yeah, I love being parts of retreats and workshops because I'm always learning and, and creating what what mine will look like and um, nothing is unique. So you're like taking little bits of things that you've experienced and you know that's really powerful. Um, so that's going to be yeah some of my work. The next while um yeah it's been i'm in the middle of creating product names at the moment for some of my offerings and waking in the middle of the night <laughs> trying to come up with names you know like really like to, like force creativity that's not always helpful as opposed to just allowing it so like walks on the beach and your bare feet and the depth of february wind and rain it's just so my feet are tingling now with like sensations so yeah really powerful Anyway, I forget that this is not a podcast and this is a, a video diary of, of my day. So I don't want to spend the evening talking to you. I will say I recorded a brilliant podcast um, the last day around mental load um, with the fabulous Sarah Lennon. And it will be a YouTube podcast as well. So I'll be uploading it on Spotify and on um, on Apple and all my usual podcast platforms. But I'm also going to upload it here. I'm going to start uploading my podcast videos um, to YouTube uh, that I hope those of you that watch YouTube and consume it on your TVs or on your kitchen displays, on your on your Google um, Google boxes, whatever that you can have. God, I sound like a Google box, Google boxes, whatever they're called, Chromecast. I don't know, whatever, tech. I worked in tech for a long time. I can't remember the name, but anyway, you know what I'm saying, uh, that you can consume that by looking at me and whoever I'm interviewing or myself. So that's going to be a new thing for 2024. And yeah, that's me. That's my roundup. Um, for those that are watching this, I hope it's either Saturday, Sunday, could even be a Monday, um, that you have nourished yourself this weekend and that you're minding yourself and go gently as ever. Take care. Thank you.